morning and welcome to my kitchen and today we're just gonna do a really quick holiday treat we're gonna do some pretzel and peanut bark we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a simple bark we're gonna drizzle it with some red and green um, candy melts and we're gonna add some of these fantastic pretzels I'm gonna show them to you they're in the shapes of stars Christmas trees and bells look at this is that not adorable so cute super cute and I just thought it might be fun to do a pretzel bark with this um, every I know a lot of people I won't say everybody <clears throat> you know sweet and salty chocolate covered pretzels are always a great treat this time of year why not just get it over with instead of spending all that time dipping chocolate you know pretzels into the chocolate just throw them all together so um, we're gonna do this in a similar fashion to the way that I did my checkerboard bark last Christmas and I'm just going to clear all this stuff out of the way for now. There's that hand. And I have a baking sheet that I have lined with some aluminum foil. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to sprinkle my chocolate chips. I have one bag each of uh, milk chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and white chocolate chips. And you can do any configuration that you prefer, whatever suits your own taste or the taste of your family. And this way you'll see, you know, if you have a good distribution. I'm also going to go ahead and throw my peanuts in here as well. And if you prefer a different type of nut besides peanuts, anything's going to go well in here. You know, uh, pecans, almonds, uh, walnuts, it doesn't matter. You decide what you want to have. One got away. One got away. Whatever will we do. And I'm also going to go ahead and sprinkle some pretties in here so that when this gets all melty, these will stick in there. I have my oven preheated to 250 degrees, and we're going to set this in the oven for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show it going in. Turn my light on that's just warm enough to melt it but not not hot enough to cook it okay so we're gonna let that go take a little warm nap for a little while and then when it's ready to come out we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like All right these are ready well this is ready to come out of the oven and we're just gonna move over here pans not really hot at all you could easily hold it with your fingers I'm gonna grab a clean wooden spoon one that preferably has a round end but that's just my own preference this looks awesome. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that these are all nice and melted and that means I'm just going to swirl it around in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, now, now all I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to start putting these pretzels in here and I'm not going to be uh, particular about it. I'm just going to toss them on in. Here. Toss them on, honey. Molly thought it might be a good idea to throw some mini marshmallows on there. Why not? All right. Now we have everything pressed in and it's going to go in the refrigerator now until it hardens completely. So this is going to have to stay in the fridge at least an hour because I want to make sure that it's nice and set before we bring it out, peel it off uh, the aluminum foil and start breaking it up. So we're going to pop it in the fridge and we'll be back when it's time to break it up into really beautiful pieces of bark. Okay, we have, this has been in the fridge for a couple of hours because I went out and did a little Christmas shopping with Molly for Rick, but I can't tell you what I got him. So, what, and, and we have ahead, a cat in the background. Go ahead and tell him I want this <laughs> Yeah, we have a cat in the background who really wants out, but we recently found out there were a couple of foxes in our neighborhood, so we want to try and keep him in as long as possible. Which isn't very long. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. What I have done here is I have melted some uh, green and red candy melts. And you know what? It doesn't even matter if it blobs out like that. Just, you know, get your abstract on and be a chocolate Picasso. It's all good. Embrace your Jackson Pollock. That's right. 
not happy. <laughs> you don't have to put any thought into this. You don't even need to do this if you choose not to. It's not really a big deal. I just thought it might be fun. So, the only other thing I am going to do is I'm going to hit this with a few more of these sprinkles because these would be on the top and we'll embed those kind of in the um, in the candy melts. I'm going to pop this back in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll make bark. Break this up. Get it ready to give. Alright, we allowed this to sit and we actually went and ate dinner. And now we're going to do this for you. So, you just want to peel this up and remove the foil. And then... Drop it on the floor. Well, you don't want to drop it on the floor. But, you know, you could have a little fun with it. I'm just going to grab a spat and start breaking it up. So you can do it with your hands. Chocolate bark with pretzels, peanuts, mini marshmallows, whatever you like. Nice last minute gift, very easy, inexpensive. You can make several of these tins full or little cello bags full. Give them to your kids' uh, teachers, you can give them to friends, you can give them to relatives, or you can just put it out Thank on you. your Christmas gift to neighbors and put it on your cookie trays, it's all good. So I hope you try this pretzel bark and I hope you love it. And until next time, happy holidays.